Move quick, Dan. Second, is it true that you cannot get into heaven without being baptized? And if it is true, where, where does it say so in the Bible? All right, St. John chapter 3, Saint Saint verse 5. St. John chapter 3 and verse 5. Says what? Jesus answered. Jesus! Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Answer. Verily, verily, I say truly, unto thee. Truly, I say to you. Except a man. Except a man. Be born of water. Be born of water. And of the spirit. And of the spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That's where it's at. That's right. When you're born of the water, you're baptized in water. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ, baptized, buried. Amen. Not sprinkled by by a Catholic priest. That's right. Bible said in the 6th chapter of the book of Romans, and what verse shall four. we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. That's right. How shall we that are dead to right. sin live any longer therein? Go ahead. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ mm -hmm. were baptized into his death? Mm -hmm. Now therefore we are buried Amen. with him by, by baptism. baptism into death. That's not right. Not sprinkled. That's right. You'd have been sprinkled in a Catholic organization. You got to come right around that bowl. Oh, yes. And come in your whole body. Amen. You got to go down in water. You and your priest and your monk and the Pope and everybody else. Everybody else. else. That's right. All right. Next letter. Back to Gander Hill Prison in Wilmington, Delaware. Yes. Dear Pastor Jennings, I thank God, our Lord Jesus Christ, that we're able to have you come into the prison to tell us the truth about the word. Uh-huh. Your appearance got great and mixed reviews. I'm pretty sure of that. As you should know. Yeah. And I know you're not an alien, too. Mm -hmm. Please, who, please, people who have not attended chapel service in a long time were sure blessed when they saw and heard you preach and teach on Monday night. I've had the pleasure of hearing the brothers on my pod talk about you all night mm -hmm. and into the next day. One. I've even had a brother give up on being a Muslim One. and convert into the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. One of One of them. Yeah. I thank God for that conversation, conversion and pray that there may be many more before his return. A lot of questions have been asked of me that I can't answer. So I said, let me pray and study and confirm with Pastor Gino about, and confer with Pastor Gino, Gino about what you, what you want to know. Mm -hmm. Question number one. All right. Can anyone baptize you? Not just anyone can baptize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, not just anyone can baptize because baptize is not something that anyone can just take off and do. That's right. right. That's right. Uh, the apostles baptized men and they sent men and they baptized. They baptized. Mm -hmm. Because if anyone can baptize, then a gay man can baptize. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> if anyone can baptize, a woman can go around baptizing. Jesus. Amen. Amen. The example or the pattern of baptism was established mm -hmm. when Jesus walked here on the earth. That's right. There was a man by the name of John the Baptist, the mm -hmm. forerunner right. of the flesh of Christ. Go ahead. And he had the Holy Ghost. In fact, he was born with born it. With it. Mm -hmm. Born with the Holy Ghost because God just didn't want anyone handling Right. The son of man mm -hmm. and perform a righteous act yeah. without having God within him. That's right. right. John was born with the Holy Ghost, meaning God within him, mm -hmm. and he baptized the Son of God, Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, no, just anybody can baptize. And let me say this there's only one way to be baptized correctly. Right. The right. Bible says, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. If the chaplain in any prison, and I know I got some of you chaplains listening and watching. Amen. If you will baptize inmates any way they want, mm -hmm. you that want to be sprinkled, the chaplain oblige you. Amen. You that want to have a fire hose on you, the chaplain oblige you. Mm -hmm. You that want to be baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, the chaplain oblige you. Amen. And you that want to be baptized correctly, the chaplain baptize you. No, all that's wrong. That's Amen. right. If God got someone to baptize you or someone is appointed by a righteous, godly atmosphere Amen. to baptize you, then every baptism will be done the right way. Mm -hmm. And if anyone in the prison want to be baptized wrong, if the chaplain is of God, he won't do it. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's, That's right. right. If Amen. that chaplain truly is of God. Amen. And you want to be sprinkled. That's mm -hmm. right. Or baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He won't touch it. Won't touch right. it. He won't do it. That's and right. He'll lose his job before he violates the scripture. That's right. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. Amen. So any of you chaplains mm -hmm. that will baptize inmates any way they want. Amen. 
You are nothing but a false prophet. A false prophet. Hiding behind a backward collar with a cross swinging around your neck. That's the right. The Bible says you need figures, four, five. One Lord. One Lord. One faith. One faith. One baptism. One baptism. That's it. So no, not just anybody can baptize you. No, no. They got to know what they're doing. Amen. What That's does right. baptism represent? Mm -hmm. Because your whole body must be buried uh -huh. in water. That's right. The Bible said in the sixth chapter of the book of Romans, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? That grace, that grace may, may abound, may. God forbid. How, How shall, shall we, we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Mm -hmm. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, Therefore we, we are buried are with him. Sprinkled with him. Buried with him. Sprinkled with him. Buried with him. Poured with him. Buried with him. Come on back to Bible, Chappie. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Come on, Chappie. Come on back to Bible. That's right. You got to repent of and, and the chapter. Mm -hmm. That's right. He got to repent and be baptized. Amen. That's right. That's right. If the man baptized and you is not baptized himself in the name of Jesus Christ, he had no right to no touch right. you. That's right. That's right. He don't have no right to touch you. Amen. Now, some of you preachers preach mm -hmm. that if one isn't baptized, you can baptize him right, and then the one that got baptized right by the one that wasn't baptized at all, then he switch around and baptize him. Where's that lie at? That at? That's right. Everywhere I read in the Bible where anyone administered the baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. they themselves were baptized and had the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. Not just jump and baptize because you can no, run. No, no, no. Amen. The preacher got to make sure your whole body is buried. Buried. That's right. That's you right. must be buried. Why? Buried. Because the burial uh, of the baptism symbolized when Christ was put down in the grave. That's right. In the sepulcher. That's right. And when he rose in the glorified state or in the resurrection That's body, right. that symbolized when you come up out of the water, now you come walking in newness of life. That's right. Now That's you right. begin to get started. Yes, sir. Amen. Obeying God's divine law. Amen. No, not just anybody not can just baptize anybody. it. No, no. Come on, son. Question number two. Yeah. How do I get saved? Do I ask the Lord to be my personal savior? <laughs> He's the only one that's going to save you personally anyhow. That's yeah. true. We ain't got to ask God to be your personal savior. That's right. He's in the saving business. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The Bible don't teach bow your head and raise your hand and accept Christ as your personal no, savior. No. The Bible don't teach to join the church. No. The Bible don't teach to pray a sinner's prayer. Amen. The Bible don't preach to say a rosary to Mary. That's right. The Bible don't teach to go in the closet and make a confession to a priest. Right. The Bible don't teach that. But you folk that hear us speak against it, you say, don't bother it. Amen. That's right. You got your religion. I have mine. Oh, no. That's no one right. should have a religion but the religion of God. That's Amen. right. That's right. Amen. 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 If the scripture teaches mm -hmm. to be holy, holy. All right. then all the commandments that come from God mm -hmm. to the people will shape them and mold them into a holy people. Yeah, That's, yeah. Right. That's right. That's right. How much should be saved? How much should be saved? How much should be born again? Amen. How much should be right? How much should be right? John chapter 3, verse 3, then verse 5. John 3 and verse 3. Listen. Jesus answered and said unto him. Jesus. Mm -hmm. One who folks hate so bad. Amen. That's right. The only true Messiah. That's right. There is no other Messiah apart from the Christ. That's right. Amen. That's right. None? Nowhere. Nowhere. Mm -hmm. The Messiah said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto truth. thee. Getting repetitious about it. Hey, amen. Want to establish it. Mm -hmm. Be sure that you get it right. That's right. Truly, truly, verily, verily, I say unto you. Except, except a, man a man be born again. Be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Well, that lets you know your first birth didn't do something for you. Amen. amen. That's right. That's right. Other than brought you into the world that you may hear the right information to be born again. That's right. Listen. John chapter 3 down at verse 5. What is it? Jesus answered, verily, verily, I say unto thee. What? Except a man be born of water 
and of the spirit, yes, he Lord. cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Now listen, mm -hmm. I've talked to Bible scholars and mm -hmm. men of so-called in-depth knowledge. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. You say, mm -hmm. when the Bible says be born of the water, of the water. that means when your mother birthed you and her water sack broke. That's right. Well, if it means that, why would the word be born again attached to that? That's right. That which is born of the flesh. That which is born of the flesh. Is flesh. Is flesh. Your mother water broke then. That's right. And she birthed flesh. Flesh. That's right. But Jesus wasn't talking about a fleshy birth because no. that's what Nicodemus thought he was talking. To. Nicodemus said that to him. In John chapter 3 and at verse 4. What did he say? Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man, How be, can born a man be born when he is old? When he's up in age. Can he enter the can second time into his mother's womb? Into his mother's womb? And, be, and be born? You know he's Colonel man. That's right. You see, man nature is to go back yeah. where he came from. <laughs> That's true. Uh -huh. Amen. That's right. So, if the Bible says we're born again, mm -hmm. I'm 37. <laughs> That's right. I am not traveling mm -hmm. back into the womb of my mother. No way. Oh, no. Oh, no. You dumb preachers. Yes. Amen. See, I, I told you seminary didn't help you. No, it didn't. It just gave you a certificate to certify you was a fool. A fool. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're a certified fool. Amen. That's true. For when God preached, be born again. Born again. He's talking about now, you got to take me on. That's it. That's right. See, your first birth, you took on earth. That's right. You took on dust. Amen. You took on the natural spirit. That's right. But a new birth, now you must take on God. God. And when you take on God, you are endowed with the attributes or the characteristics of God. That's right. Go ahead. You don't get that from the womb. No, no. You get that from heaven. And that which is born of the spirit. In John chapter 3 and at verse 6. That which is born. Of the spirit, of the spirit is spirit. Is spirit. So the spirit come along and instituted a new birth. New birth. Yeah. That's right. Something that has stripped man from his sinful nature. That's right. Because your first birth brought you in sin. That's right. Fashioned in iniquity. That's right. Conceived in lust. Amen. That's right. You come here born with the Adamic nature upon you. Upon you. That's right. You begin to grow into men and women. Mm -hmm. That's right. And obey Adam. That's Amen. Right, oh yeah. That's right. That's right. Smoking. Mm -hmm. That's right. Drinking. Oh, That's right. Gambling. Oh, yeah. Swearing. Amen. Adultery. Yes. Amen. Fornication. Amen. Being lesbian. That's yeah. right. Being gay. That's, That's right. right. Why your nature's messed up? That's right. That's right. That's right. Being envious. That's right. Being racist. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Your nature's messed up. That's Amen. right. So Satan come along and set up religions right. to comply with your messed up nature. That's Amen. Right. True. Amen. That's right. Because Satan That's know right. that That's his right. churches don't That's change right. your nature. Right. His churches, his That's religions right. keep you bound in sin That's and right. ignorance. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Don't Glory to God. Amen. Keep you locked up. That's oh right. yeah. That's why you can be a Baptist cigar sucker. That's Go right. ahead. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Right. That was right. You can be Catholic priest. Go ahead. And talk about your celibate. That's right. Go ahead. That's right. Amen. But over 85 or 90 percent of you die from AIDS because you can't leave your altar boys alone. That's Amen. right. That's right. Amen. 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 Are you listening? That's Amen. right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Religion of the devil comply with your sinful nature. Amen. Amen. That's right. So you'll be a racist, so-called Christian, mm. Ku Klux Klan. That's right. right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Where you are slay a black man in the name of Jesus. That's right. Slay a Jewish man in the name of Jesus. That's Amen. Right. Speak out against an Asian man in the name of Jesus. That's right. You use the name for the wrong purpose, so therefore Amen. your religion is instituted by the devil. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. Satan, Amen. build churches. Amen. You better understand it. Mm -hmm. If you got mm -hmm. a whorehouse, Amen. You have 
the chief whore. Yes, sir. That's right. Madam whore, if you will. Amen. Amen. And when the senators. That's true. And congressmen. Amen. And great dignitaries, including your pastor. That's right. That's right. Amen. Come to the whole's house. Go ahead. She bring out her whores. That's right. That's right. And the congressmen and senators and some ex-presidents. Amen. And kings and prince. Amen. Mayors, policemen, mm -hmm. reverends. Amen. That's right. They look at the lineup. That's right. That's right. Amen. So they can choose what hole they want. Go ahead. Amen. 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 See, Satan is a universal pimp. Yes, he is. Oh, yeah. That's right. Take your time. Beautiful. And to properly patronize man's sinful nature. Amen. Just like the man who won't have one poor house, she'll spread her love. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Set up four houses. Amen. Oh, yes. That's what Satan done. Amen. He been the universal pimp. That's right. Mm -hmm. Set up the different whole houses to patronize the people needs. Amen. That's why now he has transvestite churches. That's right. Because he knows folk is tired of being men. Amen. So he said, I set up a church just for you. Just That's for you. Right. That's just true. for you that got fake breasts That's and you that got fake hips. I set up a church just for you and you can be Christian transvestites. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. And for them that have a problem with transvestites, mm -hmm. say to say, don't worry, I'll help you too. Help you out too. I'll help you. Mm -hmm. I'll help you, don't worry. Amen. I give you another religion to that whole house. I give it another name. Mm -hmm. That's why your neighborhood got all these big stone whole houses. That's right. That's right. Big stone whole houses mm -hmm. with a cross. With, with a cross. Right. Amen. Amen. And you have the Baptists, mm -hmm. the Methodists, mm -hmm. the Apostolic, Amen. Amen. the Presbyterians, That's right. the Lutheran, Amen. the non-denominational. Amen. So right in the midst of that whoredom. Right in that. God will set up a house mm -hmm. to break down all other houses. All other houses. That's right. And them that is not of God will labor mm -hmm. to get that house out the neighborhood. Amen. Amen. That's why you so-called Christians want us off the air. That's right. That's right. You will call radio stations. Amen. And call television stations. Amen. And some of you that is on the stage is threatened the owners that, well, I'm going to pull off right. if he stay on. Who is you? Who are you? That's right. How in the world you claim you're a preacher? That's right. Go and want to leave a station That's right. because another preacher is on. Amen. Go ahead. You're supposed to be representing the same God. That's right. Amen. But the only problem is you're not representing the God of heaven. No, no. You're representatives of the God of this world. That's Amen. right. Amen. So you will have a lesbian. Amen. Claim she's a preacher. That's Amen. right. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. A manicured now Jerry Curl head sissy. Amen. Claim he's a reverend. A reverend. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So you definitely want us off the head. Definitely want you off. Amen. Why? You born of the flesh. That's right. We are born of the spirit. That's right. Amen. When you're born of the spirit, you lean on the spiritual thing. That's right. And you look at the horse Amen. from ahead. the eyes of God. Amen. Amen. Go right. ahead. You are looking at the earth from the eyes of science. Science. That's right. That's right. That's right. School. That's Amen. Right. Internet. Mm -hmm. That's right. Encyclopedias. That's, That's right. Dictionaries. That's Amen. Right. Books that possess the kernel knowledge of the thinking of man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Give me the book that possess the eternal understanding of all things Amen. from God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. All right, listen. Amen. Amen. 
Beautiful sermon. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on, uh, finish that up there in John 3, 5. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, yeah. except a man be born of water, born of water. And, of the spirit, and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. If you're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. is, that's when you're born of the water. That's mm -hmm. right. And when you're born of the spirit, you have the spirit, by the spirit, from the spirit, which is of the spirit, that'll put you in the spirit, That's right. Is the Holy Ghost. That's right. <laughs> which is God that's present in man. Amen. And then woman. That's right. And you're not born again. You don't have the new birth. That's right. And you're not saved. Not saved. You can be sprinkled by every peace, every priest in the world. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. If he got enough power that he can save you opposite from what the Bible said, mm -hmm. then that makes him greater than God. That's right. All right, let's get some more letters, Dan, so we can go back in the Bible so then I can knock off. Delmont, New Jersey. Dear Pastor Jennings, peace be unto you and the family of God at the First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. It has been some time since my last letter. I have a very important question for you that I believe you are more than capable of answering. I was told, although a person has the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, yet have not been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, that person's sins are still on them, and they could very well go to hell if they die before being baptized. Is this true? Yes. Yes. Jesus preached, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man is born of water and of the Spirit. When you're born of the water, you're baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus. When you're born of the Spirit, you're filled with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Now, I'm going to show you in the Bible where some people received the Holy Ghost before they were baptized. That's right. Listen at the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, and, and begin verse, at verse 44. Acts chapter 10 and at verse 44. Listen. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. Yes. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter. What? Because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know it? For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. What happened? Then answered Peter, can any man forbid water? You see that? They were baptized. They had the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He was baptized with the Holy Ghost. Right. But they needed some water baptism now. That's right. Can any man forbid, any man forbid water? That these should not be baptized. That what? Which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. When they received that information, what did Peter say? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. If you had the Holy Ghost first, the Holy Ghost was not given to wash your sins away. That's right. It is written, you're kept by the power of God. So the Holy Ghost is given to keep you from performing the acts of sin. That's right. You must be washed. And uh, in Acts chapter 22 and verse 16. And now why tarries thou? Why wait? Arise. Get up. And be baptized. And be baptized. And wash away wash thy sins. Wash away thy sins. Be baptized and wash away thy sins. Calling on the name of the Lord. When that happened, you're baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's right. All right. <laughs> Next letter. Jamaica West Indies again. All right. This person says, my husband was baptized. My husband was baptized in the titles Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Being that the husband is to lead, what can be done? If the husband is the leader? Yes, what can be done? Well, you can encourage him and talk to him in reference to his baptism. Mm -hmm. And if he becomes stubborn, you know, as many of us men can be, make reference to a preacher. Recommend. Recommend. That's right. A preacher. That's right. That's right. Recommend a preacher. In fact, tune him into this broadcast. That's right. That's, That's right. right. If your husband was baptized, hey, 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 is she got a name there? Sophia. Sophia. Sophia Torton. Sophia Torton. 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 Yes. Where from? From Jamaica. Just Jamaica. All right, Jamaica. I don't know what part. Sophia. Let me talk to you. Amen. Pretty sure there's a whole lot of Sophias in Jamaica. <laughs> but you know who you are. That's right. Now, sir. Your wife is concerned about your baptism because you're baptized wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm go getting upset now. Don't get upset. Let's have a chat. I'm talking to you all the way in Jamaica now. Amen. Sophia, get your husband. This is your hour. This is your life. That's right. Sophia, go get your husband. That's right. <laughs> let's, have a, let's have a little rap session. Sophia, your husband, and PJ, let's have a rap session. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, your wife, don't get upset now. Just sit down. Just be cool. 
Your wife is kind of concerned in reference to your baptism, sir. She see that you are baptized, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's right. You are the leader of the house. You are the man of the house. That's true. But please, let us not assume because you are a man that you're always right. That's right. Now, if your wife, Sophia, is baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, then I want to tell you that if she's talking to you about your baptism, she's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she's right. You are baptized wrong. That's right. What did you say? You said you obeyed Jesus. No, you didn't. That's right. You did not obey Jesus. No, Let me show you what Jesus said in Matthew 28, 19. Matthew let, let, hold, let, mm -hmm. Chill out now. You know, don't get upset. You know, don't right. go arguing with her because she wrote me That's and right. now I'm talking to you. That's right. That's don't right. get upset and don't go blasting her when the program come off. Go off because I'll be back next week. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Now, listen at this. Matthew 28 and verse 19. Matthew 28 and 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. All right, Jamaica, I want to teach you now. That's mm -hmm. right. Baptizing them. In the name. In what? In the name. In what? In the name. In what? In the name. In the N-A-N-E. In, mm -hmm. in the name of? Of the Father. And? And of the Son. And? And of the Holy Ghost. Brother, husband of Sophia. That's right. <laughs> what is the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost? The name. Now, sir. I'm a father, I'm a son, I'm a husband. That's right. I'm a brother, I'm a minister, That's right. I'm a boxer, I'm a wrestler. Yes, sir. I'm all these things. That's right. But I have a name. Oh, you're right. So if I tell someone to do something in my name, That's right. uh, if I give someone a check for doing work, I got to sign my name. That's Amen. it. I can't put down there brother. That's right. That's right. Or just father. That's Amen. right. Or husband. That's right. You know, because they can take it to the bank, mm -hmm. but the power, the quickening power, the resurrection power for that check That's right. is in my name. That's right. That's right. So, sir, what is the name of the father? Mm -hmm. Son. Holy Ghost. Notice Jesus did not say name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. That's right. It was one name, one name that three titles is attached to, just right. like my name is Jennings, but the title husband, father, and son That's is right. attached to me. That's right. Make it plain. Sir. God have the title Father. Uh, father. Mm. Father means the originator oh. of creation. That's right. That's right. Father of creation. That's right. The originator of creation. That's that's right. His flesh That's bears right. the title son. son. What do you mean his flesh? Mm -hmm. Because the flesh of the Messiah was created by God. That's so right. he is the son of God. God owned that flesh. And within that flesh was the characteristics of God. That's so right. after God created the flesh, he gave the flesh his name, his name. to properly identify. Identify the flesh. That's, That's right. right. That's why the flesh took on the name Jesus and functioned in the capacity of Christ. So to it, God was in, in Christ Jesus. Jesus. And then Jesus publicized his father's name. That's, That's right. right. Holy Ghost That's right. is a title That's right. showing the function or the characteristics of God. What is God function in the capacity of Holy Ghost? Holy. Mm -hmm. Keeper. Keeper. One that moves upon. Yes. Mm -hmm. One that anoints. That's right. One that feels. That's right. One that come in and cast out. Amen. That's the function Amen. That's right. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. So when you are baptized in the name yes. of the Father, Son, yes. and Holy Ghost, and remember he said baptized in it. That's right. So baptizing is a deed. That's right. And if he said do it in the name of, then in the name of mean words must be utilized when this deed yeah. is performed. That's right. So now let's get Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17 Colossians and 3, see 17. how must we perform this deed of baptism when utilizing the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. In Amen. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. I hope you can Excellent. get this. And whatsoever you do. Whatsoever. Whatsoever you do. Whatsoever. You do. In word. In word. Or deed. How? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, sir, you were baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Father is the title, Son is the title, Holy Ghost is the title. Right. And remember, God have a lot of titles. That's right. That's right. He's called I Am. Mm -hmm. The Rock. The Rock. That's right. The Stone. That's right. 
fire. Holy one. Holy one of God. The Amen. Shiloh. Seed of David. Offspring of David. King. He have a lot of titles. That's right. Are we to use these numerous of titles? Along with Father when we baptize? Oh, no. The prophet Zechariah teaches us. Zechariah 14 and verse 9. Begin at verse 7. At verse 7. What is it? But it shall be one day which shall be Verse known. 6. Verse 6. What is it? And it shall come to pass in that day. That what? That the light shall not be clear. Verse 5. Verse 5. What happened? And ye shall flee to the valley of the mountain. And? For the valley of the mountain shall reach unto Azel. Yeah. Ye shall flee like as ye fled before the earthquake. Yeah. In the days of Uzziah, king of Judah. All right. And the Lord my God shall come. What happened? And all the saints with thee. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass in that day. In that day. That the light. The light. Shall not be clear. The light. You see, this is what happened. That's there right. is some light in Jamaica. Yes, the right. problem is, it's not clear. That's, That's right. right. You have read Matthew 20 and 19. You read light. Right. But it's not clear to you. That's, That's right. right. Because you read the light, but you didn't obey the light. So therefore, you misunderstand the light. That's, That's right. right. So to you, the light is not clear. That's, That's right. the light shall not be clear. Nor what? Nor dark. It's not dark because it is there. That's right. But it shall be one day known to the Lord. Not day nor not day night. Or night. But it shall come to pass that at evening time. It shall be what? It shall be light. That means evening. Now, evening. Now it is. Let me enlarge on evening. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. When the sun is about to descend, oh, yeah. we goes into the evening. That's right. Evening means latter time of that day. That's right. So when it says in evening time, that means in the latter days. That's right. Eh? That's, That's right. right. In the latter days. Right. See, evening. Cool. Do you get what I'm telling you? Go ahead. Right. You see, evening means the latter time. That's right. The closing time. That's right. The end time That's right. of that day. Amen. So now we're in the latter time. We're in the last days. Right. We're at the end time, the latter days. That's right. That's what evening time means. That That's at right. evening time, what happened? it shall be light. And the light is clear too, brother. That's right. In the evening That's time right. it shall be light, but what? And it shall be in that day uh -huh. that living water shall go out from Jerusalem. One half. Toward the former sea. The other half. Toward the hinder sea. What about season time? In summer and winter shall it be. What's the result? And the Lord shall be king. Here it is. Glory to God. One. Glory to God. And again I say glory to God. And the Lord shall, the Lord be, king shall be king over, over all the earth. Uh -huh. And what's going to happen? In that day. In what day? In that day. Now. What was the day that was being established? Evening time. That's right. Yeah. That's right. In that day, Shall that means evening time. In the latter time. That's right. So That's when right. Jesus came That's here, right. he introduced the latter, times. The latter time. That's, That's right. right. Because he came with a latter day message. That's, That's right. right. He was a last day prophet. That's, That's right. right. Huh? Go ahead. He was a latter day prophet. Go ahead. The last days right. began. With Jesus' arrival. Right. That was the introduction of the last day. Right. This end. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. And what? In that day. In that day. Shall there be one Lord. And his name. And his name one. How many names you gotta operate under? And his name one. How many names you gotta operate under? One. Let's find out that one name we should operate under. Acts chapter 9 and verse 5. What is it? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? Do you see this? Amen. That's right. Who art thou, Lord? Hey, this, this one day, this last day name. That's, That's right. right. Give That's right. This latter day name. That's right. Glory to God. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? This latter day name of this one Lord. That's right. Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, And the Lord said, I am Jesus. I am Jesus. I am Jesus. Whom thou persecutest. Persecuted. That's right. So, sir, in Jamaica, you are baptized wrong. Amen. You got to go back in water. You got to be baptized all over again. All over That's again. right. Regardless right. that you the lead of the head of your house, Amen. You may be the head, but uh, you got the wrong baptism, sir. That's right. That's right. So, That's right. Sophia, I hope I help you, sir. I hope we're able to help you so you can go back in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And I pray that God fill you with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. All right? Amen. Uh, this letter uh, says uh, it's on the subject of infant baptism. Who should be baptized? This person says many Christian churches practice infant baptism. Acts 16 and 15 and Acts 16 33, where entire families presumably including infants were baptized. So Pastor Jennings, you are wrong when you say infants baptism is not scriptural. Oh yeah? This comes from the Church of God in Christ. Church of God in Christ, you's a liar. Amen. 
Jesus said, let's see. Did it say the infants got baptized? Acts chapter 16 and at verse 15. Church of God in Christ, come on. Acts 16 and verse 15. What is it? And when she was baptized and her household, she besought us saying, if ye have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come into my house and abide there. And she constrained us. Did the, did the word of God say she had infants? No, I did. He did not believe it. Hey, church of God in Christ. That's right. Did the, yeah. see, you added that. Yeah, that's right. That's you right. slick liar. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah, add that in there. You inserted it. That's right. That's right. You hear the apostle said, I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. Wonderful. If any man shall add unto these things, yeah. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in the book. That's it. That's right. that's now you added that. Added. Where did it say that she had infants? And right. when she was baptized. When she was baptized. And her household, mm -hmm. she besought us. Now where the infants at? No infants. <laughs> It ain't say that. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Liar. Amen. Amen. That's right. Now, baptizing infants is wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because Jesus made a commandment. In Luke chapter 13. Listen. And at verse 3. Wonderful. I tell you nay. I tell you nay. But except ye Amen. repent. Except ye repent. Ye shall all likewise perish. Amen. The God of heaven demands for everybody to repent. That's, That's right. right. Must repent. Sir. A Catholic... Uh, or should I say an infant, an infant, they can't repent. No. When Pastor Paul went down to Greece, mm -hmm. among Athens, Amen. among the Epicureans and the Stoics, mm -hmm. he said, as I passed by, I beheld mm -hmm. your devotions. Yeah. I saw the inscription to the <laughs> unknown God, right. him whom ye ignorantly <laughs> worship, right. him declare I unto you. That's Amen. right. God that made the world That's and right. all things therein, mm -hmm. seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, and dwelleth not in temples made with hands, right. neither is he worshiped That's with right. man hands as though he need anything. anything. Listen at this. Acts chapter 17 Come and, on, at, son. and at verse 30. What is it? And the times of this and ignorance. And the time when you was ignorant. God winked God at. had mercy upon but, you. But now. But now. Commandeth. He command what? Commandeth all men. How much? All men. How much? All men. Where at? Everywhere to repent. That got everybody. 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 That's right, sir. Everybody. Sir. That got everybody. That's right. I God and the Apostle Peter agreed with it on the day of Pentecost. That's, That's right. right. He was at Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. The word of God by Peter mouth declared to do what? Repent. No, just be baptized. Then Peter said unto them, repent. repent. All right, church of God in Christ, mm -hmm. show me the justification mm -hmm. of yeah. baptizing not just an infant, but anybody, That's anybody. Right. Without, repentance. without repentance. That's right. That's right. Not only that, you ain't fit to write me about baptism because you baptized wrong. That's, That's right. right. That's right. You baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. The entire Church of God in Christ, founded by Bishop Mason, the whole organization got to go back in water. That's right. You That's must right. repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's Amen. it. Not Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's Amen. right. Amen. You, Amen. the infants, Amen. and the adults. Men and brethren, what shall we do? Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent. No, just be baptized. Peter said unto them, repent. Just be baptized. Repent. Do what? Repent and be baptized. You hear that? Yes. Infants have no business getting baptized. No, no one else has no business getting baptized mm -hmm. without repentance. That's, That's right. right. Huh? All right. First Corinthians 2 and verse 13. Yes. Which things also we speak. Not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches. Yes. Comparing spiritual things. Comparing with, spiritual things. With spiritual. Now. Amen. Let's compare baptism. Mm. Amen. The Bible says, I want Peter, then I want Paul. Let's get Acts 2, 38. Right. Acts chapter 2, And then verse let's get the language of the Apostle Paul mm -hmm. in the 19th chapter of Acts. Everybody all right? Amen. I want you to look over your baptism. Yeah. Well, I want to work on the doctrine of water baptism. Amen. And I want everybody to reevaluate how you are baptized and how they baptize in your church or organization or in what you call your movement. <laughs> Follow me. First in Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Huh? Then Peter said unto them, Re repent. No, just get up and get baptized. Peter said unto them, repent. This is part of having, it's not being taught in churches too much now. Right. You know, sometimes children come up and want to be, want to join the choir and want to join the little children's choir and whatnot. And an old mother or a preacher may say, well, look, for you to join the choir, you got to be baptized first. So the children go get baptized and ain't repentant for nothing. 
That's right. They just got baptized because they want to sing. That's right. So you got baptized for the wrong reason. That's right. Listen to then, that, if chapter and verse. Still in Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. Oxford, everything in here. If you haven't obeyed this, you got this to do. Everything. And I mean everything. everything. Now, when you repent, God wants you to be sorry for your wrong. That's right. There is no such thing as a repenting class. <laughs> but Pastor Jenner, we got a repenting class that teaches how to repent. No. <laughs> when you, listen. I came up strict father, strict mother. Also down to earth father, down to earth mother. Well, my, we, we came up, we had chores. It was eight of us. We wasn't allowed to play all day and not do work. My job was to carry the trash out in the house. I had to go to every bathroom, empty the trash can. I had to make sure all the trash cans had emptied out the kitchen. I had to make sure all that bag was tied up. And when I came up, not only was you supposed to empty the trash can, we had, I had to get comic, pour it in the trash can and get hot water and scrub the trash can and make sure there ain't no trash. Or my, my father was clean about that. When I came up, we cleaned our steps. We put, got a scrub, brush, and washed the steps down. Today, folk, the kids just spit on a step. <laughs> and then get out there and play in it. Amen. When you have teaching, it broadens your understanding and broadens your ability how to do, what not to do, and what pace to do it in. That's right. The Bible says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Now, many of us have never repented. But my father, when he was just reaching for his belt, I was repenting. <laughs> but the, if the belt ain't came off, it didn't matter. When he started saying, didn't I tell you? Well, I never understood <laughs> of being asked, didn't I tell you, when he know he told me. <laughs> See, when I came up, my father said, Nicky. I'm like, yes, come get your beating. Come get it. You know, like, come and eat. Come get your beat. You know, and sometimes I thought he forgot. I know I didn't do what I was supposed to do, and I'm outside playing basketball, football. We playing half ball and whatnot. And I know I didn't get the trash out like he said. And if they throwing the pass and I'm running down the street, everybody knew my father walked because he had this particular stroll, this sway. And when you saw that silhouette turn a corner, <laughs> somebody be like, hey, Nick, there's your father. And if I'm out there running for a pass, the pass keep going. I'm running. <laughs> you know. And I'm running in the house. And it's amazing how he can see me from the corner and know it's me. Especially when he done called. If you don't have all that stuff done when I come home, I'm telling you right now, me and you going to war. We're going to go to war. I'm like, all right. He said, I'm not playing, Gene. Gene, we're going to go to war. And I pull around sometime, and my mother say, listen, you better get your trash out for daddy to get home. I'm all right, ma. They want me to go out there and play ball. She said, all right, but you better get that trash out. And sometime I wait too late. <laughs> then the great judge comes. And uh, I'm scrambling around the house, getting it done and whatnot. He come in the house and son, you do what I tell you? Yeah. He said, all right. Sit at the, get his stuff all cleaned up, sit at the table, eat his llama beans and pig ears and cornbread and big old turkey legs and, and just eating. Next thing you know, go upstairs. Call me, Gene. Yes, sir. Come on up here and get your beating. <laughs> I'm saying to myself, he done ate and got a stomach full. <laughs> Why would he remember a beating? And, and, and I had to come in. We had to come get our whip. Mm -hmm. He said, I ain't going to work. I ain't going to work all day and then come get you. No, you coming to get your beating. When you come to church, you got to come get your beat. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Some of you are in these weak, watered down churches and you ain't getting nothing. That's why your preacher don't preach nothing to work on you. Yeah. 
Oh, the only thing you feel from your bishop, stop that wrong. Stop it. You's a bad saint. Stop it. You don't take them serious. Take them serious. Glory to God, but when you get the holy word hitting you. When I came up in the hood, we did slap boxing yeah. and then body boxing. Men that came up in the hood know slap boxing is one thing. But if I take these five fingers and unify them, hmm. body boxing is something different. Oh, yeah. What you're getting in church today, slap boxing. What holiness offer you, body boxing. That's right. Because we got a wicked will that's against God and they take the right scriptures to break it so we can see God in peace. Amen. What he said? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. How? Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold it. Pentecostals and apostolics. Many of y'all have violated the scripture. That's why some of y'all testify. Given unto the God, I'm so glad to be here tonight. You pray for me, saints of God. I'm baptized tonight in Jesus' name. Jesus name. And I have the blessed, he shata, the blessed Holy Ghost. Wait a minute. You're baptized in Jesus' name. Jesus name. You ain't baptized. No. Wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. No. If you baptize in Jesus' name, you ain't baptized. Oh, no. There's more than one Jesus in that Bible. Where most of the preachers said there's just bar Jesus and just the Jesus, that's New Testament. What they forgot, there were men named Jesus in the Old Testament. Let's go to school. In the Arabic language, you got Jacob and Esau, correct? Two brothers. Esau in Arabic is pronounced Isa. Isa in English is the name Jesus. Joshua. Moses minister. Joshua in the English begin with a J, but there are no J's in the Hebrew alphabet. So the name Joshua in Hebrew is correctly pronounced Yahshua. Yahshua in Hebrew or in English is the name Jesus. You got Bar Jesus, you got Jesus Justice. So which Jesus? Were you baptized in? That's right. Peter says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let's see what Paul said. Now in Acts chapter 19, we'll start at verse 1. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul having passed through the upper coast came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples. Yes. He said unto them, have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? Have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said, we haven't heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And Paul said what? And he said unto them, unto what then were ye baptized? And they said unto John baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. Uh -huh. Saying unto the people that they should believe on him which had come after him. Who was that? That is on Christ Jesus. What happened? When they heard this, uh -huh. they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now let's go to school. And I want Revelation 22, right. 18. 18. Follow Amen. me. Amen. The apostles baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, or they said, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I want all of you to pay attention. Nobody in the Bible ever was baptized and the preacher said, I baptize you in Jesus' name. No. If any of you was baptized like that, you're not baptized. That's right. That's right. Nobody in the Bible was baptized and the preacher said, I baptize you, Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, all in Jesus' name. If any of you were baptized like that, you're not baptized. That's right. Nobody in the Bible was baptized and the preacher said, I therefore baptize you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Almighty God. If the preacher said all that, you're still not baptized. Still not baptized. Well, Pastor Jennings, why is that? Give me Revelation 22, 18. Revelation 22 and verse 18. That's what? For I testify unto every I man. I testify unto every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man what? If any man shall add unto these things. What? If any man shall add unto these things. If Peter used the word Jesus Christ and Paul used the word Lord Jesus, no preacher had the right to add anything else to that. That's right. If Peter said, Jesus Christ, I have to baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. Not the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Not the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. No. No. I have to leave it exactly. exactly. 
Yes. Like it's written. That's right. The Bible said, whatsoever things are written a full time is written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Stop letting these preachers tell you, well, look, this is the way we do it over here. I don't care the way you do it over there. Amen. You should have enough concern about your soul to see it done like the book. That's Amen. right. The Bible says what? If any man shall add unto these things. Now, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I can't add nothing. No. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the place that are written in this book. So the Bible forbid me to add, then what? And if any man shall take away. Hold it! So now, if I simply baptize you in the name Jesus, I took Christ away. Take away. If I simply baptize you in the name Jesus, I also took Lord away. That's right. Because Peter said Jesus Christ and Paul said Lord Jesus. That's so right. if I take away and you just baptize in Jesus' name or in Jesus only, your sins yet remain. That's right. That's right. Amen. How were you baptized? How were you baptized? <laughs> if any of you was baptized by a woman, right name, wrong performance. Yeah. I say, what, Pastor Jennings? The Bible ain't never charged a woman to baptize you. Well, how can you justify that, Pastor Jennings? It was Jesus that told John, it become us. Us. To fulfill all righteousness. all righteousness. Not only that, no man should be baptized in nobody, and that man don't have the Holy Ghost. That's right. Is that Bible? John was born with it. Holy Ghost. Wasn't it? That's right. Amen. John was born with it. Glory to God. And if any man shall take away. If any man shall take away. From the words of the book of this prophecy. God. God shall take away his part out of the book of life. Right out. And out of the holy city. Right out. And from the things which are written in this book. Glory to God. You listening to this. Amen. What did the apostle Paul said? Back comparing. In, comparing spiritual give chapter and verse. Back in 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 13. Which things Pope also. said Pastor Jen is trying to bring something new. I didn't write no Bible. No. This stuff was here before I was born. Right. I'm not your problem. The problem is you got away from it or you never had it. Right. And some of the bishops know better. Yeah. They know better. That's right. And they wonder why so many thousands is coming to the truth of God from all around the world. Hmm. From Dubai and from all through Africa and Europe and Canada and South America and all through America and through Asia and through the Asiatic world. And all I'm doing is preaching one thing. Oh, yeah. One thing. And I ain't budging from it for nobody. Amen. We won't budge it to keep a member. We won't budge from it to get a member. That's right. Where these men done took the standard of the Bible and threw it out the church. And they feel as though they got to do this to get members. Yeah. Comparing. Which things also we speak. How were you baptized tonight? Mm -hmm. You bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ as your personal savior? You, you did? Hmm. And you saved? <laughs> no, you ain't. No. Your neck may be tired and your hands may be tired, but you ain't saved. Oh, no. You no more saved than a duck can tap dance. That's right. <laughs> Where did Jesus tell you, bow your head and raise your hands? Where did Jesus tell you hold a preacher's hand and have prayer sinner's prayer? Yeah. Where did Jesus tell you go to the church and go before a priest and let him take water and throw it on your little baby head? And my, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, <laughs> in the name of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> he going to sing it out. Amen. You ain't saved at all. Not at all. My God, I want to wake you up, Oxford, North Carolina. That's I want right. to wake you up because everybody in town, every preacher, every bishop, every would-be elder, every pastor, every jack leg apostle, and every good-for-nothing evangelist, and every two-cent deacon, everybody's <laughs> supposed to have the same thing. The Bible said walk by the same rule. The Bible said mind the same thing. It is written in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Now, now I beseech, beseech you, brethren, by the name of our, Lord, the name Jesus of our Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all, how much, that ye all, how much, all, how much in Oxford, all, how much in Oxford, all, Bible way, all, church of God in Christ, all, church of the living God, all, church of the Lord Jesus Christ, all, church in the Lord Jesus Christ, all, church around the Lord Jesus Christ, all, church on the side of the Lord Jesus Christ, all, upper room church, all, underground church, all, backyard church, all, the bishop church, all, your church, all, all should do what? Speak the same thing and, and that there be no divisions among you.
boxer and mixed martial artist Tony Harvin. He loved this program. Thank God he, he, he fills this program up on his website and points the people to the truth of God message.